hydrometer. The unit comes in a kit which includes three sample tubes, a USB drive containing the user manual and catalog, and the SG-1000 unit which has a hand strap. Before using the unit, be sure that the hand strap is fastened properly around your hand. To do this, slide your hand under the strap and grip the unit, then tighten the strap. Once the unit is tightly secured in your hand, insert the sample tube. To insert the sample tube, take the tube, slide it into the sample chamber, push it in until it stops, and then click the tube down into place. Before testing, it is recommended that you do a zero calibration. To do this, Insert the unit into distilled water, use these fingers to push in on the sample pump, and then release to draw in the sample. Ensure that there are no air bubbles in the sample chamber. On the front of the unit, press the zero key. Three zeros will blink three times. When they stop blinking, the calibration is complete. Press and hold the start button for two seconds to restart the unit. Release the distilled water into a separate container. Once the calibration is complete, you can begin your regular testing. Similar to calibration, insert the sample tube down into the battery. Use these fingers to squeeze the pump and draw in the electrolyte solution. Ensure that there are no bubbles in the sample chamber. On the front of the unit, Press the start button to begin the test. The unit reads 1.210 specific gravity. You can check the temperature of the unit by hitting the select button. The unit reads 24.5 degrees Celsius. You can switch back and forth between these two readings by pressing the select button. Since the unit does not store results, it is recommended that you take a pen and record your results on a sheet of paper. When you finish testing, release the electrolyte back into the battery, pull in distilled water, and flush the waste out into a separate container. It is recommended that you repeat this process several times to remove all traces of electrolyte from the sample chamber. After all remains of the electrolyte sample have been flushed from the unit, it is ready for storage.